Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to another video. Now today, we're not going to be discussing any sort of gameplay, but today we're going to be talking about 4K. And most specifically, UHD, so-called 4K monitors. Now first off, what does 4K mean? Now 4K is just a resolution. Most monitors right now are running a resolution of 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. This is sort of like the default for the last couple of years. Um, and it's something that a lot of people are satisfied with. However, recently, over the last year or so, the so-called 4K UHD monitors have been becoming a lot more popular, both in height as well as in width. You will see that there's twice as many pixels, resulting in just a pixel density that is most of the time four times as sharp. And obviously that is because, well, the monitor's size generally hasn't changed all that much. Most monitors will be right between like 24 to 28 is inch. However, the actual pixels that are on that monitor are going to be basically quadrupled, meaning that every single thing you're gonna see on screen will look about four times as sharp as it usually did. Now, about a year ago or so, the monitors were extremely expensive. If you wanted to purchase anything like that, about a year ago, maybe a year and a half, you would have to put down some serious good money, such as like three and a half to like four, five thousand dollars. Um, and right now, the prices has actually come down all the way to right around 600 to like 500 dollar range right now, meaning that they basically, you know, are extremely, extremely affordable compared to a year ago. Now, don't get me wrong. There's still a lot of flaws with 4K displays, and hopefully I'll be able to point out at least a couple in this video. Um, because if you've heard so far what is going on with 4K, you might be like, alright, so why isn't everything in 4K yet, if it is so much sharper? Now the reason for that is quite simple. There's simply not very many people that currently have 4K, because the process to produce it is extremely expensive. Uh, most cameras are only just now dropping in price as well, where a year ago you would have to pay like a camera that is worth like, you know, close to $50,000 as well, um, to actually get some decent 4K footage. And right now, everything is coming down, and everything will become a lot more 4K, with prices of cameras being right around one and a half thousand right now, um, to actually get some decent 4K footage. So I recently did decide to like purchase, you know, a monitor that is 4K and I liked it so much personally that I really wanted the second one. Now besides the fact that this box, you know, it is, it is way too big, um, everything else about it is great. However, I am using mine mostly for the workstation tasks. Now 4K is something that most people will be interested in, but is it something that you already want to be buying? Now personally, I actually edit a lot of videos, I do a lot of photoshopping, and for my work I also do some coding and web designing and all kinds of stuff. So that means that for a lot of occasions, I basically need more space. The more space, the more stuff I can put away on my actual monitor, right? So the more workspace I have, the more efficiently I can work. So that means most of the time, if I'm doing some sort of work-related stuff, like those things that I just mentioned, it is going to benefit me quite a little bit. So if we take a look at, for example, Adobe Premiere, that means that on a 4K display, I can basically edit the entire source file in its original format, meaning that I can see the 1920 by 1080 file perfectly in a little tiny window without it having to go on like a separate monitor. And those are really the kind of applications I would use 4K displays for if I were you. If you currently are considering buying a 4K display and you're only really going to be using it for some web browsing um, and maybe a little bit of gaming, which we will get over very shortly, but not really any kind of workstation related tasks, it's not going to benefit you all that much. What I want you to do real quickly right now is just simply open up this video in full screen, all right? If you're using a 1080p monitor, it's not going to scale completely correctly, but just open it in 1080p, full screen, and you should be able to see what I see on my monitor. Now, as you can notice right here, a lot of programs simply don't scale very well. Everything is absolutely sharp, but extremely tiny, meaning that if you don't really have very good eyes or, you know, you don't really want to work with, like, upscaling a lot of the programs, it isn't going to look all that nice because, well, the world of technology and software really isn't ready for it yet. A lot of program manufacturers still need to update their software um, and even a lot of the uh, Google applications and the Google websites don't work nearly as well as you would expect from a company like that. Now maybe you're watching this video in a couple of months time and everything will look amazing um, but right now there is still a lot of scaling issues. So if you're going to use the monitor just for web browsing I would probably wait a little bit longer before you do anything like that. Now also, a lot of people might be willing to buy a 4K monitor for movie watching. 
and on paper that sounds amazing right however like I just said the cameras are still coming down in price and a couple of years ago 4k really wasn't very relevant um, right now the movies are being shot mostly in like 4k or maybe some are even being shot right now in 5 and 8k which is even higher quality um, but if you're gonna be watching movies on a 4k display I gotta warn you that there is an extremely select few available right now that is also something that will come obviously in the near future uh, where you will actually be able to like buy your movies and whatnot um, in 4k but right now, as of making this video, there are very, very, very few movies available in 4K. So if you're going to be buying one solely for the purpose of watching movies, I would probably save my money for a little bit longer if I were you. Now, the last thing that we're going to discuss in this video is whether or not you should buy a 4K monitor for gaming right now. Now, gaming in 4K, I gotta be honest, it looks absolutely glorious. Because everything is basically four times as sharp as a normal image would be, you know, everything is just gonna look absolutely amazing. However, there's a couple of things you need to be keeping in mind right here. If you're gonna be powering four times as many pixels, well, your graphics card will need to work about four times as hard. So if you don't have like a high-end graphics card to begin with, and maybe even two of them, or maybe even three or four of them, as some people are running right now, you're gonna have to really narrow it down or simply skill down the game that you wanna be playing. Simply put, if you're going to be playing a very high-end game, such as like the 2014 um, high graphics release game, such as maybe like the Watch Dogs and whatnot, you are going to need multiple graphics cards to even remotely max it out. And it is also going to be something that you need to be calculating in with the price of the monitor. Because if you're not going to be spending like $2,000 on graphics cards and you're going to be gaming um, in 4K, and you're going to be playing one of the most recent graphically intensive games, it's not going to work out very well. Now for the nerds on the U, I am currently running an R9 280X. Meaning that I have a pretty good graphics card, but it's a single one and it is not the highest end one. It is a little bit on the higher end segment, uh, but it's nowhere near the very best graphics card at the moment. Now, I can run on a 4K monitor, World of Warcraft and Starcraft 2 and Diablo and pretty much all the games that I personally really like to play um, at the highest quality in 4K. That works out fine. So. Even if you don't have like the best of the best of the best graphics cards and you aren't playing the highest quality games right now, you don't really care about those or maybe if you do play them you don't mind scaling them back to 1080p, um, I would definitely recommend buying a 4K monitor because they are simply very, very, very good looking. I mean, if you've ever done any raiding in World of Warcraft in 1080p and you've never done it in 4K, you should really have a look. It's awesome. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you out at least making your decision whether or not you should be buying a 4K monitor a little bit easier. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and if you have any questions, put them down in the comment section below. Now if you really enjoyed the video and you wanna see more, make sure you hit that sub button. It's right around there somewhere. It's pretty, it's red. When you click it, you will get a little notification as soon as I upload new videos. I wanna thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.